Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble an ASUS Q324U. Um, so first what you want to do is remove the 10 T5 screws. So there's four on the top, one on each side, and then four more on the bottom. So once you remove those, you want to use a pry tool or a suction cup towards the bottom half away from the hinge. And just lift up the bottom, just like that. Okay, so the back two corners are a little tough, so what you want to do is just slide your fingers all the way to there, and then kind of just pull on it like that, okay? Don't use too much force, because um, if you pull it too quickly, there's actually an antenna attached to the back here, and you don't want to damage that. Okay, so same thing with this side. Let's see, I have to use the right tool again. Just get under here. Okay. So go to the back edge and then kind of just pull it up like that, okay? And then these back pieces will unclip, but make sure not to pull up on the back. You want to flip it forward from the front here and like use it as a hinge, just like that, because the antenna is attached over here, okay? So to remove the antenna, um, just get it around these um, little parts that hold it in place, okay? Just like this, all right? And then to remove the antennas, you just pull straight up on the tails, just like that, okay? Make sure not to pull from the front or you can damage it. So just pull straight up from the tail, get as close to the back of the tail as you can, and then kind of just pull up on it, okay? Just like that. All right, so here you can see the antenna. It's actually like double stick taped in place, okay? Then you can see there's the LCD connector here and the um, digitizer and possibly the camera is also part of these. Um, you got the USB connector board here. Uh, looks like it's actually a separate board with this connector holding it in place. Got the fan, so if the fan goes bad, you can replace that if you need the model number. Okay. Then you see the whole battery held in place with some more screws. Got the speaker cable going along here. Right, there's the two speakers here and then here. All right, you got another little cable here. This is for the power button and, and volume buttons. So that's replaceable. And you got the backlight for the keyboard. You got the, I believe this is the trackpad and this is for the power button. Then you got the keyboard connector and the battery. Usually before you do anything, you want to remove the battery connector and then hold the power button for a few seconds. Um, then you got this. Um, that's also for the speaker. So this is the connector for the speaker. Then the wire connects the two speakers together. Okay, then you got the removable and replaceable M.2 SATA SSD. So this is the type with two notches in the connector. So make sure you get the right one. You got the wireless card here. Okay, of course the CPU soldered in like most of the new computers and then there's some integrated RAM underneath here. So you can't upgrade the RAM, you can only upgrade the SATA SSD. So the battery is a little bit tough to remove. You actually just pry this up, but it takes quite a bit of force. So, let's see here. Let's see if I can get it. But pretty much you just have to kind of pry up on this thing. It's, it's kind of tough. Okay, you might have to use a tool for this one. But yeah, if your nails are strong enough, you can actually just pry up on this and get it out. Come on. This one's so tough to remove, I don't know why. There you go, so there you go, All right? And then basically to put it back, you just push it back down in place. Just like that, okay? So this one, I'm actually just replacing the SSD for someone. I've actually already um, cloned everything. So I'm basically just gonna remove this and then put the new one in. Okay. Remove that. If you're going to do this to be safe, 
remove the bat or disconnect the battery and then hold the power button for a few seconds usually it's okay if, if you don't if you're removing this these pieces but if you drop the metal somewhere here you can damage something so just know that um, if you're going to do that be very very careful okay all right this is upside down all right so we upgraded this one to a larger one terabyte ssd so make sure you get the right one this is a m.2 sata again so it's not an nvme so make sure the ssd you're getting has two notches in it not just one all right, and that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank All right, bye.